There is a uh, very small list, and it's getting smaller and smaller, and eventually uh, there will be zero on the list of Marvel superheroes that have appeared in every single phase of the MCU. There's only 12 as of right now, and that is going to continue to dwindle until we're looking back in a few years and saying, wow, all the OGs are completely gone. And uh, some of these... They won't be in phase five, so the list is already getting smaller as we speak. Welcome to the Chaos Multiverse, everybody. Jimmy or Chaos here. We're going to go over the 12 characters that have appeared in live action in every single phase of the MCU. That's spanning well over a decade, which is pretty impressive, and their, their contracts were pretty good, apparently, and they probably did pretty well for themselves. Let me know if you can guess all 12 as we go through this before we do. Put them in the comment section right now as we go. The first one is James Road Rhodey in War Machine. Now, it was played by two people, but everybody knows Don Cheadle as James Road, and we know he's coming back in Captain America New World Order. We'll probably see him in Thunderbolts. We're going to see him in Armor Wars. I mean, he could end up being the, the sleeper that has the most MCU appearances that nobody even talks about. The next one, another sleeper, Happy Hogan. I mean, I, I, he just somehow John gets himself in every single Moody. I mean, movie, he's the head of the of Stark Industries. He's continuing that legacy. You know we're going to see him in Armor Wars. We'll probably see him in some capacity in Captain America. We'll probably see him in uh, Spider-Man, but he's always figured out a way uh, to be part of it. Another one that you don't really think about is Jarvis slash Vision, and this was a list put together by the Direct.com, and uh, he's been in everything from Iron Man 1, Iron Man 2, Avengers, Iron Man 3, Age of Ultron, Civil War, Infinity War, WandaVision, that's how he crept into Phase 4, and uh, with the rumors of the new Vision, uh, Disney Plus, whatever it's going to be happening, when we've got White Vision out there flying around, he is probably going to be one that makes the cut into Phase 5 as well. Then you've got the Hulk, one of the OG OGs. He was in the Hulk. He was in Avengers, Iron Man 3, Ultron, Captain Marvel, Endgame, Shang-Chi, She-Hulk, and now the rumors of a World War Hulk solo movie coming. You know he's going to be a pivotal part of Kang Dynasty or at least Secret Wars. He has to be. The Hulk is part of that. Now that we know that his son Scar's around too, I think he's also one that's safe to not get voted off the island into Phase 5. One that unless she comes back in a flashback, she's probably done, uh, Natasha Romanoff. Black Widow, Iron Man 2, Avengers, Captain America the Winter Soldier, Avengers Age of Ultron, and then a slew of them. Civil War, Spider-Man Homecoming, Infinity War, Captain Marvel, Endgame, and then finally, her own solo outing of Black Widow. But I don't think we're going to see her anymore And this next one. I don't know. Thor, another OG OG. Thor, Avengers, Thor Dark World, Avengers Ultron, Infinity War, Ragnarok, Doctor Strange, Endgame, Thor Love and Thunder, but we don't know the future. Chris Hemsworth has already stated this, unless they do a drastic turn in the tone of his character, he's probably not interested. Thor Love and Thunder has been dragged big time on how it went too far the whimsical comical way, so we'll see what happens. But then again, I can't really imagine a Secret Wars without Thor. And then speaking of Thor, Jane Foster, Mighty Thor. She was in Thor, she was in Dark World, she was in Endgame, and she was in Love and Thunder. Only four Marvel movies, but each one hit a phase, which is kind of crazy to think about. And uh, with the credits at the end of Thor, Love and Thunder, I think she could be safe on the island for phase five. I, one that I know is safe, I think he's going to be around uh, longer than anybody, is Tom Hiddleston's Loki. I mean, he was in Thor, he was in Avengers, he was in Dark World, he was in Ragnarok, Infinity War, Endgame, Loki, he's going to be in Loki Seasons 2, uh, Deadpool 3 is rumored to have TVA activity there, he could be seen in that one, I think Loki could end up being uh, the longest standing character in the MCU when it's all said and done. Then we have Heimdall, yep, Thor, Thor Dark World, Ultron, Ragnarok, Infinity War, and the post credit scenes, even though he was dead, now he's in Valhalla, Thor Love and Thunder. Once again, just like Jane, only, uh, well, he's got he's got six movies to, under his belt, but, I mean, uh, if they continue with the Thor line, he'll probably be safe in phase five or six. This is one that's going to make me sad when it comes to an end. Clint Barton, Hawkeye, Thor, Avengers, Ultron, Civil War, Endgame, and Hawkeye. I hope 
that we're not done with Clint, but I also know the changing of the guard is happening. It happened through Hawkeye, and we know Kate Bishop is going to be the new Hawkeye. I just don't want to see him go. I love him as that character. And then two left, we've got Bucky, the Winter Soldier. He was in Captain America, the First Avenger. He was in Winter Soldier, Civil War, Black Panther, Infinity War, Endgame, and Falcon, Winter Soldier. Already confirmed to be in Thunderbolt, so he is safe, at least for the Phase 5 Island. And finally, last but not least, Peggy Carter, Captain Carter. Captain America, the First Avenger, the Winter Soldier, Ant-Man, Endgame, and Multiverse of Madness. We are not counting animation, so we're not counting what if, but she has appeared in every single phase so far, and everybody loves Haley Atwell as Peggy Carter. I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say they're gonna find a way to bring that character into a more prominent light than what they did in Multiverse of Madness. Let me know what you guys think. Which one do you think gets voted off the island? Who makes it the longest in the MCU? And I'll see you soon.